We learned that the source of all magnetism is moving charge. A wire carrying current is moving charge. When a wire contains a current, it makes a magnetic field that wraps around the wire in a kind of a circular pattern, something like this. And if I was to view that from above, it might look like concentric circles of magnetic field, something like that. The direction that they circle, you notice here they're going counterclockwise as the current comes towards me. And you kind of see that that's, that's how it circles over here, uses a right hand rule. So in this picture over here, we see that if you point your thumb in the direction of current, your fingers are gonna curl in the direction of your magnetic field. So that's kind of evident over here. I'd have my point, my thumb pointing up and the fingers of my right hand would curl around in this direction. If the current was in the other direction, it would come around this way. So in the case over here, it's counterclockwise. If the current was into the page, it would be clockwise. The strength of the magnetic field depends on the amount of current and the distance from the wire. And we're, we're gonna represent that with an R. So this distance radially outward from the wire is the R we're talking about. So the further away from the wire you are, the weaker the field, and the more current you have, the stronger the field. Now they're proportional, but to make it an exact equality, we need a constant in here. And the constant is this mu naught over two pi. Mu naught is called the permeability of free space and it has a value of four pi times 10 to the negative seven Tesla meters per ampere. You always use this divided by two pi. You can kind of see that if we divide this by two pi, we're just gonna get two. So when I use this thing, I just, for this whole thing, substitute in two times 10 to the negative seven. It's just a, it's just a quicker, uh, it's a time saver. All right, now using this formula is simply a matter of plugging numbers in. So let's just do that real quick, a very quick example. Imagine I have an electric wire that carries a current of 25 amperes. And I wanna know what's the magnetic field at a point. And okay, we're gonna say that this, this is vertically upward. So it's upward. Maybe it's in a wall. We wanna know what the magnetic field is at a distance that is 10 centimeters north of that. So I'm gonna actually look at this as if the, uh, I was looking from above, looking down on the map. And so here's my wire cross section. And if it's upward, it's coming towards me out of the page. I'm gonna draw a little dot to do that. Now the point that is northward is gonna be up here. And this R is 10 centimeters, which we know is 0 0.10 meters. The magnitude of this is gonna be mu naught over two pi and then we're gonna have our current over our distance. And I'm gonna do that down here where I actually have some room. And that's gonna be two times 10 to the negative seven times 25 amperes over 0 0.10 meters, which is a value of five times 10 to the negative five Tesla. Now, this isn't a complete answer because we need to know the direction. But if I were to point my thumb out of the page and curl my fingers, I would see that my fingers would curl counterclockwise, which means when it gets to this point, it's gonna be pointing in this direction, which on a map would be west. So we'll say west. And there you go. Simple enough. Now, one application of this is we can use this to determine the force between two wires that are both carrying current. Now, before I get into the number side of it, let's just think about it conceptually. This wire, is going to create a magnetic field. Okay, it's gonna ra radiating outward. If I consider this to be in the plane of the page, on this side, if I, if I use the right hand rule, I would be able to determine that everywhere to the right of this wire, I'm creating a magnetic field that goes into the page. Okay, and it would it'd be all over the place. X's mean into the page. Everywhere on the left of this, it would be coming out of the page because it's circling around. Okay, it's kind of going out of the page over here and into the page over here, if that makes sense. That means that it's creating a magnetic field where this wire exists. And if you recall, if you have a wire carrying current in a magnetic field, it'll experience a force. And so this one's gonna create a magnetic field that exerts a force on this one. 
Newton's third law says for every force there's an equal and opposite force. And we could see that that makes sense because this wire is also creating a magnetic field which exists over here where this wire is and it'll experience a force. So these guys are going to create a mutual force between them. And it's either going to be attractive or repulsive. Now the way to figure that out is I imagine, okay, this one's making a magnetic field that goes into the page over here. If I use the right hand rule and I point all my fingers into the page and I point my thumb upward for the current, my palm would be facing to the left. This would create a force on this to the left. This one would be creating a magnetic field that comes out of the page over here. And if I point my, my fingers out of the page and my thumb upward, there'll be a force to the right. And I'm gonna draw that down here. So these forces are attractive. And because of Newton's third law, they have to be equal and opposite. And there's a way to numerically do this, okay? If I think about the force that is happening on wire two, it's gonna be ILB, I2 times the length of this times B. And we're not gonna worry about the sign because uh, everything's parallel here and perpendicular the way we'd like it to be. The B field that's being created by wire one is mu naught over two pi times the current I1 over R. Now the R in this case is the distance between the wires. So I'm gonna turn my R into a D. That worked out okay. Now if I substitute this into this formula, I wind up with this big old mess that looks like I2 times L times the entire quantity of mu naught over two pi times I1 over D. I'm gonna reorganize this so it doesn't look so sloppy. And I'm gonna wind up with this. Put the constant out front, mu naught over two pi times the product of the two currents over the distance all times the length. Okay, so the length from here to here is important as well. Longer wires, more force. This formula you can use to find the force, mutual force between two wires. Now, to make your life easy, you saw that when these two currents were pointed in the same direction that they attract. If I was to reverse one of these so it was in the opposite direction, they'd repulse. So you could um, you, you can understand it and create it from scratch or you could just memorize that. I don't really have a particular uh, problem with that. Let's do a quick example. Let's think about uh, an appliance extension cord. Let's imagine that it is two meters long and that the two wires are separated by three millimeters of distance, which I might as well go ahead and say is 0.003 meters. They're going to carry a current of 8 amps. Now they're going to have the same current because they're, they're an extension cord carrying current to and from the same device. And also one thing that we know is that if, it's a, if this extension cord is completing a circuit, they're going to be in opposite directions from one another, right? The, if, I, if I imagine here's my two wires, one's going to be taking current to the device and one's going to be returning it back. So they will be in opposite directions. So now to find the mutual force between them, we can just plug in the numbers. We're gonna have mu naught over two pi, which is two times 10 to the negative seven. And the two currents, we got eight amps and eight amps. So let's just call that eight amps squared. The distance between them, 0 0.003 meters. And the length is two meters. And if we plug that all into our calculator we're going to get 8.5 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons now is it attractive or repulsive well we said that if they're in the same direction it's going to be attractive so these are in the opposite direction so it's going to be repulsive all right we're good